Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Mass. Today's Mass is being offered for Shirley Sheets in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. In this memory of Our Lady of the Rosary, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour forth with this issue, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made through the intersection of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. The reading appointed for today's Mass is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, after 14 years, I again went up to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along also. I went up in accord with a revelation, and I presented to them the gospel that I preached to the Gentiles, but privately to those of repute, so that I might not be running or have to run in vain. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter to the uncircumcised, for the one who w worked in Peter for an apostolate to be circumcised worked also in me for the Gentiles. And when they recognized the grace bestowed upon me, James and Cephas and John, who were reputed to be pillars, gave me and Barnabas their right hands in partnership, that we should go to the Gentiles and that they to be circumcised, only we were to be mindful of the poor, which is the very thing I was eager to do. And when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face because he clearly was wrong. For until some people came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he began to draw back and separated himself because he was afraid of the circumcised. And the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him, with the result that even Barnabas was carried away by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not on the right road in the line with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas in front of them, if you, though a Jew, are living like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as songs through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. This gospel chapter opens with our Lord in prayer. I love to think of him in deep, silent prayer, conversing with his father. I wonder how long he had been praying, maybe a few hours. We are told he often went away by himself to pray. And the gospel says he was praying in a certain place. And I imagine his disciples knew this certain place. They knew where to find him. Do we know where to find Jesus? Some disciples must have hunger to pray like Jesus. A number had been disciples of John the Baptist and knew the Baptist had taught his disciples to pray. One of Jesus' disciples asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. And his answer must have been revolutionary to their Jewish ears. When you pray, say, Father, no Jew called God his father, much less personalize God's name. Here is Christ sharing an intimate moment with his disciples, telling them to call God father as he calls God father. Father, is one of the most beautiful words to say. There is a musical West, West Side story. Tony repeats the name Maria, the most beautiful sound in a single word, Maria. I will never stop saying Maria. And the same could be said of Father, the goodness, the love, the protection, and care are found in the single word, Father. Jesus tell us when we pray to say, Father. Amen. Let us stand in do our universal prayers. Jesus has taught us to call God our Father, 
As children of God, we offer these petitions to Jesus, our brother. We pray for the whole church. May the guidance of the Holy Spirit be our strength during these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in positions of political power, may they be blessed with the seal and eagerness of Paul in serving their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who hunger, may the Lord fill their every physical and spiritual need. Let us pray to the Lord. For the community gathered here today, may God continue to guide us as we strive to do his will. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they rest in eternal peace with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. And now let us take a moment to pray for our own special needs. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we rely on you for all that sustain us in life. Hear and answer the prayers we offer through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may rightly conform to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of you, you only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Live up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you were through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. So as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare you glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the doleful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be giving up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Especially we pray for Shirley Sheets, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with the will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy. For those of our brothers and sisters who cannot participate with the Holy Communion with us, let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never allow me to be separated from you. Amen.
Behold, you will conceive in your womb a bear and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death of resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a blessed afternoon, everyone.